and we're not putting up with it anymore. We're no longer playing along. We're no longer getting into relationships. These women don't deserve our time or our effort. We want wives. We want families, not neighborhood bicycles. We want families. We want love. And we're looking for brides, not sex trophies. No matter what lies you spread, the Passport Brothers are looking for love. We deserve love. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be discussing the fact that even though Western women has been trying to make it seem as if only black men were the one that's, that was using their passports going overseas, some of our white brothers online are giving their opinion too. It feels good to see white men give their opinion on what's going on on the passport men movement and what they think about Western women. So we're definitely gonna break it down, but before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment down below. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's get right into it. <laughs> I prefer an American woman. <laughs> oh shit. Brother, you're gonna find out why a lot of us men are leaving by the droves and never coming back. I'll be shit. You're gonna need all the prayer and help in the world to deal with these women. Look at the top 1%. Look at Tom Brady. Look at the Tory Lanez case. Not only that, if you marry one of these women, you gonna get when they divorce your Cause then you gotta pay alimony. And then if you have children, then you gotta pay child support. Then not only that, you gonna lose everything. Everything. But you, that's okay. Cause you wanna, you wanna play stupid games, Win stupid prizes. Let's call f around and find out. You f around, you're going to find out with these women. Why a lot of us men are f***ing leaving and divesting in all women in the States. You're going to figure it out real fast. All I got to say is I hope you got a lot of Advil. Because you're going to have a major headache. A major headache. When it's all said and done. Good luck, brother. Now you guys can clearly see through this video clip right here that a lot of other western men are now becoming more interested in the passport movement and what you're saying is a lot of men deciding to just cash out at the casino like just go ahead and take your winnings and go home hey fellas 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 passport bros hello hey woo this this right here just made my day y'all this this right here this this whole we doing it, baby. We doing it. We get more men joining our movement. Four men, by men. And they enjoying the big support system. They get along with it. This, this, this. You made my day. What I really didn't like about the Passport Bro movement in the beginning was the fact that they tried to make it just seem like it was just black men doing this. Like it was just going to be a black men thing. This movement is for all men because they've been traveling longer than black men was traveling anyway. This movement is about all men, white, Asian, Latino, you know, Irish. It is a melting pot of all types of races of men over here in Thailand. Sometimes a woman can talk her out of a relationship. You can talk, we we do that. Yes, we will talk I, I, our I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something and this mm -hmm. might ruffle little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough. Men are going to start issuing a no dating policy for Western women. Only thing you can do with Western women, guys, is put them on your weekly rotation. And that's once a week for two to three hours tops. Other than that, you're simpy. These are just jokes. I love this comment. I just think it's awesome. Just masses of men leaving. Sick of the bull. Imagine not wanting to be falsely accused by feminists spreading lies about you. I recently got extremely famous. There were millions of people spreading uh, pictures and videos of me claiming that I was a sex tourist 
that I was married a 15 year old and that I had a child bride. My wife is in her 20s, but the feminists need to project and tell lies and discredit us because we are showing the hate of their movement. That's crazy if that happened. But I have heard the stories of white Western women coming after men and claiming false charges on them, talking about the fact that they're with someone that's young and this, that wasn't the case. So that was good that this man was able to get away from that or and definitely not get mixed up in that. How he didn't get mixed up in it because he's not in jail. He wasn't charged with anything. So you know if white men was getting harassed on the way out, what you think black men are going to get from black women? And we're not putting up with it anymore. We're no longer playing along. We're no longer getting into relationships. These women don't deserve our time or our effort. We want wives. We want families, not neighborhood bicycles. We don't want you teaching our children to be sexually promiscuous and to get or spread STDs. We don't want you taking our children from us harming them, psychologically damaging them, causing them to go to prison. I think what he's talking about there is the the high rate of single moms raising children. And it's a lot of those kids from single parent homes are, are going to jail, having a lot of mental problems, having a lot of uh, issues. I think he's referring to the single parent home crisis that's going on around the world really not just in america but yes men usually get into a marriage to make it work they want to raise their children they don't want to be with women who the first sign of trouble in their marriage they run to the divorce courts leaving a lot of young kids in single parent homes we want families we want love and we're looking for brides not sex trophies no matter what lies you spread the Passport Brothers are looking for love. We deserve love. I found love. I found a wonderful Asua that treats me like a king. Imagine being treated like a person. That's all we've been asking for for decades. You guys. I forgot about the most important part. What? This is the good part of the view. And all of these particular men who are leaving the country, they are not just leaving because of the women, guys. A lot of men want to get away from the evils of certain countries. A lot of men do want to have a heaven on earth type of experience in their latter years. Who wouldn't go live in a safer country that's, that's also offering some bit of paradise? Just for a little while. Now, men know we can't go nowhere and find someone that's totally safe. But a lot of men can find that peace for their mental health. They can eat better foods and take care of themselves. God bless these men and I hope they definitely find the happiness that they're seeking for. But that's all I got in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these men and what they had to say. I will see you in the next video.